Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing off all the FPS boost tricks in Fortnite that I used to get more than 1000 FPS. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like a lot of people are getting really bad frame rates this season. This usually happens after Epic makes a big change. It's just season 7 in specific seems way worse than average. What I'm gonna do is show off all my favorite PC tweaks and Windows 10 optimizations that I personally use on my own PC to help my game run better. By the way, I already made a season 7 in-game settings guide that's going to show everything like performance mode, what setting to put your textures on, all that in-game stuff, nothing outside of game, and this video is going to be the opposite. So I hope you're all excited, make sure you drop a like if it helps you out. Without further ado though, let's get right on into it. To start the video off, we're going to talk about possibly the biggest FPS boost you can get in Fortnite. No joke, this setting alone gave me an additional 400 frames and provided similar gains to other pros and content creators like 1% Rift. Alright, Hey, Jerrion, what the heck are you talking about? You sound like a bad infomercial. I'm sorry, you guys are right. The setting I'm referring to is called XMP. Or well, that's the copyrighted name on Intel. I think it's DOCM on AMD. Anyways, some of you guys may remember I briefly covered this in my last FPS boost guide about 8 months ago. I showed the tutorial for how to turn it on, but I did not really explain it or show it in depth. To put it simply, Extreme Memory Profile, or XMP, is an automated technology that allows you to overclock your RAM. And please, do not get scared because I just said overclock. I know it's kind of a scary word, especially when people talk about overclocking their GPU or CPU. Trust me, XMP and overclocking your RAM is a lot safer. It's pretty standard, actually. You see, most RAM sticks out of the box, they run at a much lower clock speed than advertised. I'll show you guys on my own PC in a minute what this means, but it's a pretty well-known fact that manufacturers make it run slower by default. That way, it works on most people's PCs, right out of the box. Essentially, all we're gonna do is go into our motherboard's BIOS, we're going to turn on XMP ourselves, which, by the way, is a literal profile that the manufacturer makes. They set up all the clock speeds, they set up the voltage, all the really, really nerdy stuff for you. All you have to do is go in and turn it on, that way your RAM stick can run at the advertised highest speed, and not at the low speed it is by default. Last thing before we get to the tutorial, I want to answer, why is XMP important? Does it really make a tangible difference? Well, as I mentioned earlier, this nearly doubled my Fortnite FPS the moment I turned it on. I went from a measly 600 FPS to over 1000. Just like pouring water in the ocean, or donating money to clicks. No, seriously though, the main reason for this and why my PC saw such a huge difference in FPS is because Fortnite is heavily CPU intensive. Epic has recently tried to offload some of the CPU work onto your GPU in Fortnite, but still, Fortnite remains CPU bound for most players. Where XMP and your RAM comes in is that your RAM helps your CPU run faster. The higher your RAM speed is, or the more gigabytes of RAM you have, the more processes and things your CPU can do, and thus Fortnite will run better, you'll get more FPS, and it will be way, way smoother. RAM matters a lot, okay? The thing is, we're not gonna go out and buy more RAM. That's just dumb. Instead, we're gonna turn XMP on to make our RAM clocks run faster, the advertised speed we bought them for, that way we get better FPS. Let let me show you how to do that. Alright, so a good way to see if XMP is going to make a big difference on your PC is by searching up Task Manager. You could also just go through Control alt delete either way works. On the top, you're going to see different tabs, press Performance, and then on the left, there's even more little options. You're going to click Memory. So this is your RAM page. It's going to show how much gigabytes of RAM you have, all these nerdy little details that I don't really know about. The one we care about is the actual speed. So you see the speed right here says 21. 33 megahertz. That is the literal default that manufacturers set for all DDR4 RAM. Most of you guys probably have DDR4, if not DDR3. This is not the highest advertised speed that I thought I bought. I paid for 3600 megahertz, yet this says 2133. That's pretty stupid, right? Well, as I just explained, that's kind of how RAM works out of the box. Therefore, if any of you guys see this, you know that you probably paid for 3200 megahertz or just something 
something more than 2133, which is the default. This tells you XMP is not enabled. Let's go enable it. Most people do not know this, but there's two different ways to access your motherboard BIOS and turn on XMP. The first is simply through Windows 10. Just go down to the Windows button, click Power, then hold down your Shift key and press Restart. This will tell you your PC is restarting and bring you to this menu. From here, press Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Firmware Settings, and hit the Restart button again. Rather than booting up into Windows normally, you'll see you'll go straight into your motherboard BIOS. That is what UEFI Firmware Settings are, and that is what Merricksot78 just showed there. I'll have all his links down below. I had to break out the IRL camera for this because I have to restart my PC. I can't record it with OBS. So this is my home screen. What I'm gonna do is go down, Windows button again, I'm gonna hit power and restart it. As it restarts, I'm gonna spam F2 on my keyboard. So here comes the spamming. You can see the screen went black. Right there, it just said, spam F2, there we go. This is my motherboard BIOS. So much nerdy stuff. Oh my gosh. I never knew this, but most motherboard BIOS have an easy mode, which is either F7 or you can click it. This is what it looks like. Shows my CPU core voltage. And over here, XMP. Isn't that amazing? It even says it's disabled. All I have to do, voice crack, click on it, press enabled, and these are what the manufacturer recommended or kind of configured. So these are all the clock speeds. That 1.35 number is the voltage. That's also the megahertz, 3600. It did all this for me. All I had to do was press enabled on XMP. I think on AMD it will say like DOMC or something. And then from there I'm gonna press save and exit. Boom. It's gonna tell me all the changes like the AI overclock tuner. It's doing all this for me. It's changing all of it. I'm gonna press OK and that's gonna restart my PC. I already know this is probably not not gonna work. I think it's gonna boot up into safe mode. So just as I suspected, it did not work. This is basically what it looks like if it does not work. For most of you guys, it should. It even says the system has posted in safe mode. It's basically because the configuration did not work. So what I'm gonna do is press F1 to run setup. Uh, and that's gonna bring me exactly back to where I was. This is the advanced mode before we were on easy mode. These just did not work. I'm gonna have to fool around with the megahertz, maybe the voltage a little bit. Go down to advanced mode. You can see you have way more options. We care about AI tweaker. Sorry, the recording's a little shaky. I'm only using one hand, but what I'm gonna do is change AI overclock tuner to XMP1. This is the same exact configuration configuration as before. The clock timings are the same, the voltage. I already know this is not gonna work because it posted into safe mode. What I do know works though is if I go down to DRAM frequency, it shows you all the timings, or at least the megahertz rather, and I can just select manually. This is not easy mode, remember. This is advanced. I know 3200 works. I've tried that, so that's what I'm gonna enable, and that's pretty much all I need to do. Exit. Ugh. Save changes and reset. Why is it blurry? Press OK. And now it's gonna restart once again. This time it will work though. You guys can see my PC booted up normally. I'm gonna go to my task manager. I can't spell, oh god. Memory. And look at my speed. My speed is now 3200 megahertz. This is way better than 2133. It's like 50% better, nearly double. And that is gonna get me so much more FPS in Fortnite. I promise you guys. RAM matters so, so much. I'm going to put a link to a more in-depth video if you have any problems or if you're on like AMD. If this somehow did not help, go watch that. It's from my boy Merricksot78. He's the one who I showed the other video from for like 10 seconds before and he made a great video covering everything you need to know about XMP. Just please make sure you guys check if you actually need to enable it or if you have it. It makes a huge difference and like I said, it will nearly double your FPS. Next part of the video is going to be all the Windows 10 PC tweaks. What I'm gonna do is type in settings, bring up those bad boys, and go straight to gaming. So gaming, turn off Xbox Game Bar. That's gonna be the first on the left side. If you have this on, it's probably destroying your FPS. I know some people find it useful, but Nvidia Shadow Play is way, way more useful. Please turn this off. Additionally, captures, same thing. And finally, game mode. I've actually heard that game mode used to be 
good. That's why I have it on. It literally says when game mode is on, Windows optimizes your PC for play. However, recently I've heard a lot of tweakers say to turn it off. So I'm going to advise you guys to turn it off. You could use both, but I'm going to say turn it off. From there, we are back on my home screen. I'm gonna search up in the little Cortana search, graphic settings. You have two settings here. One, I should probably delete so I can show you guys. <laughs> you guys saw nothing. But at the top is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is another one which I've heard is kind of useful. It depends on your PC. I'm gonna say turn it on. You apparently have to restart your PC to apply changes. It basically takes some load off your CPU onto your GPU. It's just GPU scheduling. Scheduling. The more important one though is under graphics performance preference. You're gonna click desktop app browse on your local disk wherever Fortnite is you're gonna click that click program files epic games Fortnite, Fortnite game binaries windows 64 it's a lot of stuff you're gonna click Fortnite client windows 64 dash shipping not the launcher not the battle eye or the easy anti-cheat the shipping click that go down to options after you already bring it in and click high performance then save nice next windows tweak dude there's something in my eye Oh, type in startup apps. It's the first thing that pops up. And what you're going to want to do is turn pretty much all of them off. Windows does a good job of saying what their impact is. I think they're kind of lying because they say all these have no impact. Who's selling the caps? That is some cap alert. Oh God, I'm so cringe. Turn all of these off except for pretty much Epic Games Launcher. What startup apps do is they are enabled on startup by default and they run in the background. They take up a ton of space. It's probably better if you play other games to have it off, but that is the only one that I personally leave on. Second to last Windows tweaks are within your power settings. Power and sleep settings, that's the official name. On the right, they are additional power settings, so I click that. Let me minimize it. And I have it on balance, which is not good. You can either use high performance. Sometimes it might be under show additional plans, and you'll have to click down. Click the little drop down, and it should be there. I think there's one better than high performance and I'm going to show you how to enable it. What you're going to do is type in CMD in the bottom left, but I'm not going to click it. I'm going to right click it. Run as administrator. Let me bring it over. It says Jeria. I know that is my girl name. I'm Jerrian right now. Or wait, I'm always Jerrian. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. With this open, you're going to copy and paste this little command prompt that I'll put in the description. There we go. So I just copied it. I pasted it. It's a little too long to go and type yourself. I mean, you kind of can, but I would suggest copying it from the description and putting it in. Then pressing enter. Power scheme, ultimate performance. Yes, sir. We're going to go back to the power and sleep settings. I know it was right there, but your boy is a little bougie. We're going to open this up. Oh, no. I spoiled the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Under show additional plans. Are y'all ready for this? Yeah! Ultimate performance! Let's go! Provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. Even if you do not have a high end PC, as they say, I still recommend it. You could do high performance too, but ultimate is a little bit better. That's the best power plan you can get. Final Windows 10 tweak. What am I gonna search? Uh. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna search anything. I'm gonna press Windows and R to bring up the little run box this little guy right here and i'm going to type in sysdm.cpl sysdm.cpl this is what comes up your system properties on the top tabs we have you could actually go through all of these they're kind of interesting but go to advance and you're going to see performance this is the important one it says settings click that move that in front and under visual effects that is one of the top tabs you're going to click custom and or adjust for best performance it's gonna uncheck all of these. Best appearance, it's gonna check all of them. Let Windows choose. I guess it does pretty much all of them but two. The one I've been doing is adjust for best performance, but then custom because I like to enable the thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges on screen fonts. Those two, I feel like I can't live without. That's why I enable them. I don't like all of them being unboxed. So yeah, do whatever you want. Hit apply and okay. Woo! Oh yeah, if you want to read 
re-enable anything, just literally go back and re-enable it. None of these are really gonna have a huge effect on your PC. They're not like the Adam X tweaks, which are kind of impossible to do yourself or to undo yourself. You literally just have to go back to whatever settings you had, like the power and sleep, and turn it back to balance. You don't really need a restore point for this. It's nothing too crazy. Yeah. Overall guys, those are all my favorite PC tweaks and Windows 10 optimizations that I use to get insane FPS. So if the video helped you out or you learned something new from it, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Like I always say, if you use my code, it's code Jarian, not code it's Jarian. Just let me know and I will shout you out. Otherwise, that's it for me and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.